Let's open up Muse. Let's make a new site. Let me click OK. Click, click open the home page, not the master, but the home. We're going to put uh, navigation. I'm going to do a um, widgets library. Do, do, do menus horizontal bam you'll notice that there's only one here and I want to do a full page scroll um, I want to have uh, my home my about my contact my services page all here but as you know if you have tried news before you can't um, do it with the top level pages you need to make another page, let's say about. Let's go back to home. And now you have the about page here. Okay? But we don't want the about. We don't want another page. So how are we going to do this? We're going to go to the drop down and we're going to click on manual. Okay? Now I can name this, select it, and write home. Then I you see that? I just click the little button right here, and I can make another one. I'm going to make uh, five buttons. One's going to be about. Oops. Next one's going to be um, services. Our last one will be contact. And uh, what, what's the, uh, we'll, we'll make this one store. All right. Now, deselect it and then click on one of these. And we can drag this all the way to the end over here. All right. Now, we're going to have to make sections. We we'll have to drag this down further, just a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to get the rectangle tool, and I'm going to click and drag from the top over to about here to where that footer is, right? And I'm going to put a fill in it. I'm going to fill it with, say, black for right now. I'm going to click on that black right there. Press Enter. All right, that goes away. It's fill. Now, where's my navigation? <laughs> Let's right-click on this and then send it to the back. Arrange, send to back. There's my navigation. If we go to our layers panel, let's see that our menu is on top, our rectangles underneath it. So I want to take this rectangle and I want to copy it. Or let me see if I can do an Alt Shift. Alt Shift. Oh yeah. Just like Photoshop. Alt Shift will um well let's see. There we go. Alt Shift will make a copy of whatever you want to do. Photoshop it does that too. Let's uh, recolor this one. Autofill. Let's color that uh, yellow. I know it's ugly, but bear with me. Let's go down to the bottom here. And do an Alt-Shift on this one. There we go. And let's bring it up a little bit. And we're going to take this and we're going to make this fill a different color. Make it red. So we're going to make a different section for each one of these navigations. So I have one, two, three already. I need four and five. So I'm going to do an alt click, drag it down. Notice how when I drag it down, let me make this a different color. Notice when I drag it down, this thing on the bottom pushes down further, which is nice. See that? Let's make one more. Alt drag. Oops. Just make sure you're just selecting one, not many others. All right. 
So just making sure that's in the right spot. Let's do my stroke on you. The color. Let's do a color of uh, blue. And I'm just going to drag this down. That's a little bit further. Give myself some room. Command S to save. Ah, here we go. Let's save it. Um, you know me. I like to save inside of my website desktop documents. There we go. Documents, websites. I'm going to make a new one now. New folder for um, Muse Effects. Cool. Open that up. Whoops, what happened? I didn't go to the right one, did I? Use effects, there we go. And we're going to save this as um, one underscore page underscore scroll. One page scroll. Save it. All right, let's going to make sections for each one now. Let's get our type tool and click and drag. And we're going to write um, about. That's our about page. You can't see it. Make it white so we can see it. And I'm going to bring the size up. Oh, yeah, that's a big size. And then I'm going to, there we go. I'm going to center it. And I'm going to push this into the middle. See that little line right there when I move it around? That says it's in the middle. All right, so that's our about. And I'm going to copy, paste. Drag this down, you can press the shift to have it go straight down. And this one's going to be, oh, actually, this one's going to be about, sorry. Let me make this black. And the first one up here, this one should be home. That's going to be this link right here. The about's going to be the next one. Oops. And let's. Snag this one again, copy, paste. We're going to name this one, the name of this one, services, services, and then store. And then we have our contact, right? All right, we can't make these links yet because we'd have to make an anchor. This is fun. Oh, yeah. Object. Insert link anchor. If you don't see the um, anchor, I don't see the anchor um, icon out here anywhere. So you always have the, the uh, drop-down menus to do things. Insert link anchor. I'm going to put this one right here. I'm going to name it home. And I'm going to drag it to the middle, straight up to the top, right there. Then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to make another one. Object, insert link anchor. I'm going to name this one about, lowercase, doesn't have to be uppercase, you can do whatever you want. You can make this in the middle and right to the top here, there we go, it's about. And we'll do it again. Object insert link anchor. I'm going to call it services. And go to the middle. Straight up. Bam. Two more. Object insert store. Middle. Straight up. And then contact. I'm going to. Did you see what I did here? I wasn't. I didn't um, have the the text tool or the text selected. But if you double click, triple click on that, you can get to it. I'm going to make that black. There we go. I'm going to be able to see each one, each section. Command S, Control S to save. Just click on the on the home button once or twice to get it selected by itself. 
and this is going to go to our home. Click on the about, to about, services, services, store, store, contact. It's in alphabetical order. <laughs> Let's preview this file. Uh, preview page and browser. See if this works. First thing I see is the top nav the navigation. I'd like to have it go all the way to the top. But let's see what happens. Click on about. Cool. Click on services. Oh yeah. Click on store. Oh, this is so cool. I love it. Look how it scrolls so nicely and softly. But the only thing I'm not seeing is the navigation. Where did it go? We're gonna have to fix that, right? So I'm gonna click on the navigation here and drag it to the top. There we go. And I might want the navigation to be a little bit taller. Maybe. I don't know. Eh, I like the way it is, right? Like that. Uh, I'm going to color it. Click on one. You can click on fill. And let's fill this with, let's say, black. No, not black. Let's do red. There we go. How come it didn't fill? It didn't fill. Why didn't it fill? There's a little blue uh, thing on the side here. Horizontal, edit together, uniform size, submenu only, horizontal center. Why is that not filling with the stroke? Well, let's see. File. Preview page and browser. Oh, it's there's red. I see the red. Click on the red here. Oh, I have to click on this one. I got to do each one individually. There we go. And then file preview. There we go. I guess we're on the home page. It's not showing that. Click on about. There we go. So if I want the little um, divs in the middle, I do not fill it with that fill. See now the little black divs um, file. There we go, and there's our buttons. All right, so now we want to fix it to the top. Selecting our navigation, up here there's a little thing called pin. If we click on the top middle button right there, it fills in gray. Now let's try it. Preview page and browser. Click on about. Oh, services. Store. Contact. Look at that. See, I gave enough room for the contact to come up here. If I didn't give that room down there, you'd still be seeing the stores page. Click home. Oh, wow. It just clicks right back up really quick. Let's click on services. Store. About. Home. Wow, that was quick. Let's go back to Muse. Click on the home. Click on hyperlinks. I clicked on this home right here. This is the home page. I didn't click on the home anchor. Let's click on the home anchor. That's probably going to make a difference. Preview page and browser. Services. Now when I click home, it'll be smooth, right? Nice. That's it.